Okay, so welcome back to another Bidwick tutorial. And this one is a very, very dumb tutorial. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, for me, it's really important. And we're going to talk about the color schemes. Now, maybe you notice on some of my videos, uh, you know, uh, this is the polysynth practice we did, you know, the other day. Uh, notice that we have some very special colors. Uh, they are not, uh, they don't, you know, they are not part of the factory palette of colors. Now, then it says users and scheme and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it says import from image. So you can import your own color scheme. And that's what I do. I use my own color scheme. Now, maybe you don't know how to do this. If you're a designer, for example, and you have, you know, some knowledge about colors, or maybe you know Photoshop. You can, you know how to do this. You just create an image, you import it, and Bitwig is just going to recognize the color and create a palette for you with those colors. It's awesome. Now, maybe you don't know because you're not a designer. You have no idea, you know, how Photoshop works and you want to create your own palette. All right, I'm going to show you. So, okay. So, first of all, you need a place or you need uh, something to add some colors. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want, but... You're on Windows, you have the paint, and I don't really remember what you get on Mac to do some drawings. So what you will need to do is just add some squares and then color them. And I'm going to show you how, but I'm going to show you something better. There's something, uh, actually, there are a lot of places. And I have a, a design background when I was studying or doing, uh, you know, uh, engineering on um, different things, not, not in music. And, uh, you know, I had kind of a... Uh, you know, a course about Photoshop. So I learned about colors and designs and, you know, things like that. It's really cool, really fun. So the thing is that, of course, if you throw colors, random colors, it's going to look like uh, shit. It's going to look like shit. So there's a whole, a lot of theory about combining colors. Uh, the thing is that if you don't know or you don't care because you don't work with that, there are some, you know, pages that can suggest combinations of colors and then give you cool palettes so right now this one is called is called colors uh dot uh, co dot co well okay you have another ones you can use this color scheme designer that's another one that is really cool now i'm going to go to this one because this one it's like super easy to use so what you do you go and you start the generator and this is this is going to start giving you suggestions of one, two, three, four, five different colors. And whenever you press the spacebar, it's gonna give you a new combination. It's just gonna keep giving you combinations of colors that are nice and they fit because, you know, they fit. And until you find something that you like, and maybe, I don't know, I like this one. Okay, so I like this one. So what you will need to do is to take a screenshot of this. So I have a program uh, to take screenshots. So I'm gonna go, just copy this, and I copy paste it, you know, like, you know, just tells me right there that I just copy paste it. And just going to go right there and just paste the colors. Now, the thing is that if you upload this, it's just going to give you four colors. So my suggestion is just keep, you know, getting colors until you find something very similar to whatever it is that you're putting right here. It kind of, uh, you know, that fits. And I kind of like, let me just... Find, oh, I like this one. I like this color. They don't, they don't fit, but you know, I still like those colors. I like this palette. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go and take a screenshot. Maybe you're not watching this part of me taking the screenshot. Maybe the screen recorder's just not getting it, but that's fine. And you go and you paste it. And there you go. You have a nice palette. Right? That's that's my palette. And you can create your own. Maybe you can even go and try to chop it, create a square and change the color. Depends on your, um, you know, editing abilities with paint or whatever other software. Um, in my opinion, in my, you know, my case, since I know how to use Photoshop, I will just easily do this on Photoshop. But, you know, this is a nice alternative. So what do you do now? So I'm going to go and you're going to save it. And I'm going to go and save it on, I don't know, someplace. So I'm going to go. We have a, I have a lot of shit. So I'm going to go and say scheme two, whatever. So I'm going to go right there. I'm going to go back to Bitwick. And now what we can do, we can go right here and import from image. I'm going to go to all the shit I have right here. Uh, documents have a lot of things. And I'm going to select that scheme. 
and you know, import this palette and I'm going to call it and notice that it's doing everything for you and it's fantastic. I'm going to go and import it and now we have our own color scheme. So if I go right here, select the track, it's going to be orange or it's going to be whatever color on that palette. And for me, uh, if you ask me, maybe you're thinking you're watching this and you say, okay, I don't give a shit about this. Um, I'm sorry for the cursing, you know, it's kind of a late and I'm drinking a lot of coffee. So, uh, maybe you, you don't, you don't give, you don't give a shit about this. In my case, since I'm doing a lot of this, I do a lot of this, you know, I watch the Bitwick pretty much half of my day, uh, having nice colors and something nice to see. It's very important because whenever you have, you know, very kind of a, I don't know, right here, you have this and right here you have, I don't know, maybe not that maybe something like that. And then you have, I don't know, a uh, pink. Uh, this for me looks very depressing. <laughs> I just get depressed. And that's why, you know, I use the schemes and I have my own scheme. I like to do something maybe like that. I go right here. This is the scheme I like. I love the scheme. Go right here. I'm going to do some light blue, maybe something like that, you know, and I get some colors I really, really like. And this is just a much better view than the other one. So, okay. So that was, you know, it's a very simple, just tutorial explanation, but maybe you care just like me. So hopefully you like this, you learned something. Remember to like, and, uh, you know, subscribe and all that. Remember to check Patreon. Uh, so, you know, you can support the channel and keep the lights on and, uh, you know, get some goodies like sample packs, preset packs. I do every month. I release every month. So see you on the next one.